Oh, it is so nice to be back here in home sweet home, New York City, which just packed its standard month-long transition from winter to spring into one night. <laughs> Thursday night, to be precise. Highs in the low 40s for weeks and weeks and weeks. Then wham! Friday morning got me like... You know, maybe more like a April, come she will. When streams are ripe and swell with rain, may she will stay. No, that's not quite it. Maybe more like a. I haven't seen a crocus or a rosebud. Or a robin on the wing But I feel so gay In a melancholy way But it might as well be spring Oh, that it might I think it was that, like half that, but also half like uh... Oh, they tell me your love's like a flower In the springtime it falls so no, actually, we had it right the first time. Is there a better place in the whole world than New York City in the spring? I guess, I guess for some people there might be. I spent some time this week Googling Michael Cohen. It was some of the most exciting Googling I've done in a while. <laughs> Especially when, after I typed in Michael, Google first directed me to the Wikipedia page for the Archangel Michael, <laughs> which I thought uh, would have been totally unrelated, but it turns out has a striking resemblance to the Michael of my curiosity. Just like Mr. Cohen, the Archangel Michael was a guardian angel, a protector angel, <laughs> Some might call him a fixer angel. <laughs> and I quote, In the New Testament, Archangel Michael leads God's armies against Satan's forces in the book of Revelation, where during their war in heaven, Michael defeats Satan. After the conflict, Satan is thrown to earth along with the fallen angels, where he still tries to lead the whole world astray. End quote. <laughs> it's exactly the same as what's going on now. You've got the modern-day Michael protecting, uh, I guess, someone who, who thinks he's God. Only God had an affair with a porn star and Michael covered it up. I mean, let's not split hairs here. It's the same story. And it confirms what I've been saying since 1997. Sarah McLachlan is a prophet. In the arms of the angel Fly away from here From this dark, cold hotel room And the endlessness that you feel You are pulled from the wreckage Of your sad No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not done. I know you think I'm done. I'm not done. Listen to this verse. I'm telling you. Prophet. So tired of the straight line And everywhere you turn There's vultures and thieves at your back And the storm keeps on twisting You keep on building a lie that you make up for all that you lack 
It don't make no difference Escaping one last time It's easier to believe In this sweet madness All this glory is sadness That brings me to my knees If my mic weren't on a stand, I'd drop it Sarah McLaughlin. She foresaw it all. I didn't change a word. And I'm being totally honest about that. As some of you know, I was raised in a religious household. Now, I don't know if I have a guardian angel or a fixer angel, but I spent some time this week imagining how scared a person would be if they did have a guardian angel, and were in danger of losing him to a federal criminal investigation. 